Meanwhile, the mystic, the visionary, walked the beach, stirred a puddle, looked at a stone, and asked themselves, What am I? What is this? And suddenly an answer was vouchsafed them, what it was they could not say, so that they were warm in the frost, and had comfort in the desert. You Summer neared as the evenings lengthened. There came to the wakeful, the hopeful, walking the beach, stirring the pool, imaginations of the strangest kind, of flesh turned to atoms which drove before the wind, of stars. Flashing in their hearts of cliff, sea, cloud, and sky brought purposely together to assemble outwardly the scattered parts of the vision within you. So with the house empty, and the doors locked, and the mattresses rolled round, those stray heirs, advance guards of great armies, blustered in, brushed bare boards, nibbled and fanned, met nothing in bedroom or drawing room that wholly resisted them but only hangings that flapped, wood that creaked, the bare legs of tables, saucepans, and china already furred, tarnished, cracked. What people had shed and left, a pair of shoes, a shooting cap, some faded skirts and coats and wardrobes, those alone kept the human shape, and in the emptiness indicated how once they were filled and animated. How once the hands were busy with hooks and buttons. How once the looking glass had held a face. Mm -hmm.